There's some good news for the state of the Great Barrier Reef. Some areas are seeing the highest amount of coral recorded in 36 years of monitoring, according to a new report. The health of the reef is measured in what's called coral cover. And that's the proportion of the reef's surface covered by sponges, algae and other organisms. And that's improved significantly in the northern and central sections of the reef. Almost 90 reefs were surveyed between August last year and March this year. In the north, from the tip of Cape York to Cooktown, the amount of coral cover has increased from 27% to 36%. And in the central part of the reef, from Cooktown to just north of Mackay, cover has jumped from 26% to 33%. And that's the highest level of cover these parts have seen in the last 36 years. In the southern part, near Bundaberg, coral cover has reduced slightly but remains in relatively good health. Dr Paul Hardesty is the head of the Australian Institute of Marine Science which carried out this research and he joins us now. Hi there Paul, so record coral cover, it's great news isn't it? Yeah it's, it's good news, uh, I, I would characterise it as a, as a good news and bad news story however. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah. Um, so the the good news is obviously that we're seeing these uh, in the north and the central areas, these record coral levels like you've described. And um, that's really good news because that signals that the reef is very resilient and that we've seen some really good regrowth after the 2016 and 17 bleaching events in particular. The not so good news, however, is that the recent uh, bleaching events in 2020 and then most recently in 2022 signal that the reef is in a very different era than it was 36 years ago in the 1980s. And this era that we're in now is characterized by the fact that the disturbances that are driven by global warming, in particular bleaching events, are now coming more and more close closely together so we're just we're now in an era where the reef is walking a tightrope between good health that we're seeing now but we're right on the edge and tipping over into some serious mortality is is getting closer and closer in probabilistic terms and so this last bleaching event in 2022 was occurred during a la nina year which normally we would never expect because that typically brings cooler conditions to our part of the world. And the fact that we actually had bleaching that wasn't severe enough for mortality um, was quite a surprise to, to, I think, many of us. But we were right on the tightrope. And if, it, if conditions had been slightly different, we would have fallen over into some serious bleaching and some serious mortality. And the problem now is that every year is now going forward a potential bleaching year. Right, so how can and we... so... Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Paul, but how can we protect the reef then from those future mass bleaching events? Well, there's three things we've got to do. Number one is we've got to bring global emissions down as fast as possible and do our part in that effort. The second thing we have to do is continue our efforts to protect the reef's resilience through managing crown thorn starfish, which the Great Prairie Reef uh, Marine Parks Authority is, is, is doing a lot of. We've also got to protect water quality and, and so on. But the third thing we absolutely have to do is we have to help the reef adapt to climate change and Ames is leading the way in that effort. Mm. So whether coral is coming back then, Paul, is this a case of the reef repairing itself or is it the result of intervention methods like coral seeding and your work? No, what we're seeing now is very much this is a natural recovery. If you give the reef a chance, then it can recover and that's the sign of resilience and that's excellent. If the disturbances, particularly the major ones like cyclones and increasingly bleaching come too frequently, then the reef doesn't have that chance to recover. So we haven't had a major cyclone for a few years now. That's really helping. The crown of thorns starfish outbreaks in the north and the central parts of the reef have been largely uh, controlled. They're not really happening. So that's good. And the bleaching, while it's occurred, hasn't been enough to cause mortality. So we've been lucky. The reef is actually enjoying a period these last few years of of pretty good health because the conditions have been good. The message that everyone needs to understand is that this is not the 1980s. You know, that'll be the, that'll be the, the easy thing to take away, that the coral cover is as good as it was in the 80s in many places, yes. Are the underlying conditions the same? No, we're walking the tightrope. We've had some luck in the last few years. That isn't gonna continue unless we really take a lot of action 
um, to change things, to turn it around. Dr. Paul Hardesty, thank you so much. Thanks very much for having me.